Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Foundation plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the uh, new s uh, slab depression module. <coughs> and this is this uh, little toolbar right here. Basically, has um, the ability to create slabs, uh, to slab depression, sorry, and and then to modify or move them, and then to edit them, and then of course to delete them. I'll just go ahead and put that right back right where it was. Um, so what I've gone ahead and done is just created a quick uh, kind of L-shaped uh, slab on grade foundation. I've gone ahead and enabled uh, some sub base on it as well. And um, I'd like to use this uh, little grid uh, tool to kind of help lay things out. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, hide, <coughs> hide that group right now so we can have better visibility. And then I've also gone ahead and created kind of a layout where I want to put my uh, footings and my slab depression. So I'm going to unhide. Actually, I'm going to unhide that and then hide that. Yeah. All right. So, so this little group here kind of uh, helps me lay out. I'm going to already pre-laid out kind of where I want to put this um, slab depression for the garage, and then a couple of internal footings going this way and then one going along uh, the perimeter of the garage here on this uh, on this north side. So let's go ahead and jump into that. Um, we've got the uh, interior footings and I'm going to go ahead and throw those down right here. Just right there. And then one right there. And you'll notice that um, it's not <coughs> it's not uh, projecting past the uh, outside edge of the footing now. Uh, I kind of put some extra code in there to deal with that. And so there's our um, our two footings as they currently stand. So now I'm going to do one more actually and I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to make the footing depth to 18 inches and I'm going to have that vertical drop at 8 inches and just hit update and then I'm going to go ahead and stretch that out right here from this point and by picking this point I want th I know the 12 inches uh, width on the footing is um, going to get me right here and then I want that edge of that footing actually to be in line with this here exterior wall so that is why I'm uh, basically <coughs> offsetting by 6 inches so let's just go ahead and grab that point okay and there we go and by the way, you have this hidden layer, so you know this hidden layer will show you, kind of give you a little layout for your interior footings, and um, and you can hide it, and it turns it on and off, toggles it on and off, basically when you're uh, drawing or manip manipulating footings or slab depressions. So uh, yeah, we'll just leave that off for now. <coughs> so now we can see that what we've got going on is we've got a footing that basically bisects this building and connects everything and <coughs> you can see it, it projects a little past uh, that uh, so the slope is a little different than the uh, the perimeter slope but that's all right we'll, we can deal with that um, so let's go ahead and try the uh, slab depression feature now so basically all you got to do is just click on this here icon and it'll come up with your settings how much you want to depress it by how thick you want the slab depth in this depression region and this perimeter offset will offset the um, <coughs> and in this case it doesn't really matter but it'll offset the uh, the uh, basically the uh, you know the other bottom side and the it's a horizontal offset essentially and the uh, cut by a certain amount and then of course you can just do a through hole if you like and if you do that then none of these parameters actually matter just it's just a through hole so um, but we'll just leave it at the default settings for now and I'm just going to go ahead and start right in this corner and start picking my points and just go ahead and lay your points out and basically you just have to close the profile so as we work our way around you know we, so we can see what our measurements are and everything but um, <coughs> until we actually close that profile then it will not uh, generate our our depression. So now we can see the little guide point right there. I don't know if you can really see it. It's pretty small. But as we pick that final point, uh, now we just hit the space bar, jump out, and we can see that we now have a slab depression. I'm going to go hide this uh, template layer 
that I created. I could just delete that as well, but I'm just going to hide it for now. <coughs> okay, so there you have a slab depression for your garage, four inches down. And basically we've got two eight-foot doors here, so that works out kind of nice and even with two feet on each side and two feet in the, in the middle there. Um, one thing to note, I, I do need to add some more logic in on how to deal with sub-bases. So basically, once this slab depression got below the surface of this sub-base, then of course it, it removed it, but we need to actually add in more logic to add sub-base under this slab essentially as well. So um, there's you know some more work uh, involved here that needs to be done to develop this thing further to accommodate uh, these sorts of additional features. So um, yeah, slab insulation, sub base, uh, rebar, and of course the anchor bolts. So you can see with the anchor bolts, you know we still have these ones here. So basically it would be up to the user now to manually move these around or delete them or do whatever you like with them. Um, you know typically I would probably have a couple of hold downs here instead. But um, yeah, you could just essentially jump in here and and, and you know delete these or or, or it's just simple as moving them. You know, you can grab that and drag it right over here. Uh, let's just say four feet, <coughs> and there we're done. Okay, so let me take a quick uh, cutaway view of this guy so you can kind of see what's happening. And I'm just going to shove that over a little bit so we can get a better. Let's see here. Come on. Grab this guy. Oh, there we go. Okay. So you can see that um, this footing works out quite nicely. It's right on the. I set it so that it would be on the. This interior footing is on the edge. Um, and it joins up and forms nicely with this uh, perimeter wall. And, uh, you know, it's kind of what you want and expect. <coughs> As you can see, I only have the bottom rebar enabled. Um, again, the top rebar for th for this, um, in this area, would be up here probably about three inches from the top of the, of the wall, or the, uh, in this case, the top of the slab. So it would actually be exposed. And so, yeah, again, we need to do some more work on, on how to deal with rebar when we have a, a depression like this. But but for now, at least we have the basic uh, elements so that you can do a slab depression. And um, you can edit these and modify them. Let's go ahead and uh, turn this off. And uh, you can see also that your sub base is being calculated, your uh, cubic yards. Um, so like <coughs> basically it it grabs um, this and then we'll, if you have that enabled it will display it right here in the call out. Um, <coughs> so yeah, basically just like the interior footings, you can edit this, you can modify it, uh, delete it. Let's just go ahead and, and delete it and I can show you that. Um, so there you go, it's gone. And we're back to uh, uh, not, you know, without the depression. Um, <coughs> I'm not going to jump to this. If you jump into uh, do this, it's the same as, as modifying the actual slab. It'll bring up the slab, and you can modify that. Um, and also, you can edit the you know the depression depth and whether it's you know all the all the basic features. So it's f fairly similar actually to the um, to the interior footing um, uh, module in in the way it operates. So basically that's it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm still, like I said, I've got some more development to do with regards to rebar, uh, slab uh, insulation, uh, sub base, and also the um, uh, s <coughs> slab reinforcement. So, so yeah, it there's, you know there's there's always more to do on this plugin as usual. <laughs> that's just that's the story <laughs> of these plugins, I guess. There's, there's, they're never quite there, um, but they're 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 getting there. Uh, so, anyways, I appreciate everybody's support, and thank you very much.